Welcome to my channel, and if you've been here before, welcome back. I hope everyone is doing well today. In this video, I am going over part two of my April Manga haul, and so I hope you guys enjoy. I'll be showing you everything that I got from AIDSBooks.com, Books A Million, eBay, and Amazon. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I am going to start off with apesbooks.com because that is the least amount of manga that I got from there. And the manga that I did get was Plus Anima. <laughs> I got volume 6 and volume 9 and it's by Natsumi Mukai. And it is published, was published by Tokyo Pop. And this is an out of print series. If you would have seen um, my previous videos, I um, said I really enjoyed this series when I was younger. I read it, <laughs> I read it years ago, and I wanted to go ahead and collect this. And so yeah, um, now I am. I think I only have four more volumes left to collect. And then I will have the complete set to the series and I'm going to be so excited. I can't wait to reread this too. It's going to be a lot of fun. So yeah, it's a total of 10 volumes for the series. And that is plus anima. So now I'm moving on to everything that I got from Books of Million. I got way more volumes um, than last month. It's actually not by a lot. I only got three more than last month. And um, so the first series I picked up was Dragon Goes House Hunting Volume 1 by Karo Tanuki and the artist by Chuko Aya. And it's published by Seven Seas. And I thought the premise of this was so stinking cute, so I decided to get it since it was only $3.97. So yeah, I was like, I am going to get this and see if I am going to like it myself. Hey, you look so cute. He looks so adorable there. So yeah, I expect this one to be a fun little read. Now for the next series I got is Tomo-chan is a girl and the art and stories by Fumita Yanagida and I got the first volume to it and it's published by Seven Seas and I've seen a lot of people talk about this series and how good it was and so since it was on sale I thought I might as well get it and see if I'm going to like it or not. And um, I did already read it and I, I do like it. So I'm excited uh, to collect the rest of the volumes, which is what? Seven more for me. <laughs> this one was another fun, really fun read. So for now, the next series I got was Banana Fish Volume 1 and it's by Akimi Yoshida and it's published by Viz Media. And um, I decided to get the first volume there because usually in my case, I cannot find it in stock. And so since it was there, I was like, oh, let me just go ahead and get it. I've been wanting to collect banana fish for a while now. I, for a while now, I would say um, just before the anime was coming out and then before they started reprinting um, the series, I wanted to collect it. So now I'm happy it's available for you or for anybody to collect now. And I did watch half of the anime, I would say two years ago, and I enjoyed it can't tell you why I stopped but I did but I do plan on finishing it I really did like the characters the story and the animation was really good and I love the opening theme song because of that I'm like a huge fan of Kingdom now 
a real huge fan. <laughs> so now for the last series I got, it was A School Frozen in Time and the artist by Naoshi Arakara and the story is by Mizuki Sujimura. And I got the first volume, which is all that's out now because this is a newer series and it is published by Vertical Comics. And I actually saw this on Right Stuff and I was interested in it. And then when I went into the store and saw it, I was like, oh, okay, well, let me go ahead and pick this up now and see if I'm going to like the story or not. But yeah, I'm really excited to see where this goes. I do want to let um, everyone know that it does talk about suicide in here, so just a little warning. What I do really appreciate that they did though um, was they did mention that in the beginning right here. And they were saying that if you are someone that is battling with the thoughts of like, you know, suicide, that you're not alone and that you can call the helpline 24-7 and they gave the number two. So I thought that was really, really good. yeah a school frozen in time <laughs> so that is all that i got from books a million okay so now i'm going to show you everything that i got from ebay um, this is the most volumes that i got from all the stores within this haul and so the first series i'm going to show you is Hokaru no Go Volume 3 and the story is by Yumi Hota and the artist by Takashi Obata, uh, Obata and it is published by Viz and if you would have saw my first part of my April manga haul you would have saw that I got most of my volumes from Right Stuff and uh, the rest of them were out of stock and so I went to go on Amazon to try to get the rest but volume three wasn't <laughs> available, it wasn't there. So I saw it on eBay and decided to get it. And I'm kinda in a rush to get this series right now because it seems like some uh, volumes are getting harder to find, especially volume seven. I think volume seven is out of print. So <laughs> I hope I can find that and have uh, a complete collection to this. So yeah, I, I never would have thought, but this is an older series, so yeah. I'm happy to have it. I know it's an ex-library book, but I think it's in um I think it's in pretty decent condition. I can tear off this plastic, but will I? Probably not, because <laughs> I'm too lazy. Uh so the next series I got was Um, and I got volume 23 and it's by Natsumi Isuki and this is a series that is currently out of print um, it's been out of print for a while it's been published it was published by Tokyo Pop and if you would have saw my last manga haul uh, you would have saw that I got volumes 2 and 3 already at Right Stuff Anime and um, I was looking for volume one to have a complete set to it, but uh, the prices for it were really expensive until I came across this seller that was selling it, um, all three volumes for under $50. And so I was like, oh wow, that's a really good price for these since they're out of print. And so I decided to get it so I can ultimately have volume one. So I don't mind that I currently have dupes for volume two and three. I don't know if I'm gonna keep them. I don't know if I'm going to sell them or give it away, give them away. We shall see. <laughs> oh, and then another thing that I mentioned in my last manga haul is that I uh, actually watched the anime to the series a long time ago and I really enjoyed it, um, except for the last episode or last two it kind of it felt kind of rushed and flat to me so I was hoping so I'm gonna this volume so hard to flip through <laughs> um I was hoping that the ending in the manga would be different or a little bit more fleshed out I shall see if it is or not so yeah 
Jill Ose. And now for the last series I got, out, got from eBay. Um, this is the most volume set I have out of the other two series I got. And this one is current and currently, but it is out of print. It's been out of print for a very long time. And that series is Immortal Rain. Um, so I got volumes one through eight, and it is by Karori Ozaki. And uh, this is the same manga called that did The God's Lie, I believe, which is a one-shot series. I, I believe I've seen, many, I've seen many people talk about it on YouTube. So this is another one of her works. And I'm really, really happy to have this. Um, this is unfortunately not the complete collection to the series. I, the total amount of volumes is 11. But the thing is, is that Tokyo Pop stopped at volume 8, so this is all that's available in English. So I don't know if I'm going to try to complete this set in Japanese. I will find out. I will figure it out. But yeah. This one is like, like brand new. Like look at the pages to that. It's so white. And it's just... I wish you could feel, <laughs> feel it, but me opening it, it's like nobody's opened it to read it, so. They took really good care of these books. And so I saw these on eBay and I was really interested in it. So I decided to look the series up on Mao and it had a good rating. And then I started looking at the reviews and a lot of people really liked the series. And so I was like, oh, well, I want to go ahead and give this a try and see if I like it as well. And I hope I can find the last volumes online and read them to finish off the story. rain and that is all that I got from eBay okay so now we're at the last part of the haul so this is everything that I got from Amazon um so I got some manga and I got one anime as well um I decided to get this because I ultimately wanted to have it in my collection and then also celebrating the second season coming out for it and that is Megalobox! <laughs> I really love this series and I'm glad I got this edition for this and this is the limited edition blu-ray and it comes obviously with the blu-ray and then a pamphlet of behind the scenes stuff of the series so here we have the case we have joe we have sachio and nabu and then inside we got two discs one is yuri's one is joe's and then behind the cover we have Joe and Yuri's last fight. So yes, I'm so excited to have this. So stinking excited. And so in the pamphlet, it has, like I said, um, it shows animations, animation shows, character designs, background designs in here, and then interview with the crew of Megalobox and then it does go into the history of uh, Tomorrow's Joe, which the series is based off on. So yeah, I'm so happy to have this, really, really happy. Uh, I know a lot of people said it, it kind of reminded them of Cowboy Bebop and it did. It, it was like a mixture of Cowboy Bebop to me and Redline, so. It made me like loving them even more because I freaking love Redline. Um, the animation was great. Oh, the soundtrack was so stinking good. Um, it was by Mabu Nua. Is that how you? No, Mabanua. Mabanua. 
Um, uh, that is the gentleman that did the soundtrack to this. And uh, when I heard the first like 10 seconds of the soundtrack, now I mean, just the whole thing of me watching it within 10 seconds, like I got so obsessed. And it was when um, Joe is doing like a whole uh, monologue in his head and the song Drive is playing too. I was, I was hooked. I was hooked and um i also after that i downloaded the soundtrack right away because i i just absolutely fell in love with it and if you really like the soundtrack to megalobox if there's anybody out there that's seen it check out uh bna soundtrack because it's the same guy that did it too which i love bna soundtrack i think it's so stinking good <laughs> So enough with that, we can move over to the manga. And so um, the first series I got was Become You Volume 1. And the story is by Ichigo Takano. And it is published by Seven Seas. And as you know, I was going to say, but you're going to also see in the back. It's from the same manga that did Orange and also Dreaming Sun. And I saw this series on Right Stuff, and I was going to get it, but it was out of stock. So I checked Amazon, and then they had it. And I read the first few pages of it, and I was like, oh, this is very interesting. And I decided to go ahead and read the, all the chapters for this first volume to see if I really wanted to get it. And I did, because I thought it was um, very cute. So... I wanted to go ahead and have it. What really, um, what made me interested in buying this is the first, what is it, right here. It's one of the main characters. They're um, giving each other a piece of paper. <laughs> I just thought it was so funny. I really did. I honestly do like their interactions with each other. It's, their banter is funny to me. So yeah, become you. Now the next series I got was, with no surprise, Hikari no Ko. I got volumes 4 and 8 um, of this. They had it on there, so I was like, I just need to get it. I don't care if I'm paying $9.99. I just need to stink and have this. Oh, I remember. I remember this. I remember this. Oh my goodness, well, I remember this. And I have not read this in so many years. Now, for the next series I got was Perfect World Volume 5 by Le Aruga. And I absolutely love this series. It's published by Kodansha. And I forgot that it was. Um, uh, when it released and I felt like I was slipping so I was like I need to get this now uh, so I got it off of Amazon usually for perfect world I do get it off of either Amazon or in store because I just need to have that certain volume or all the volumes right away for me because like I'm so hooked to the series I'm really loving it and I I always feel like I need to have it and I need to read it instantly so yes perfect world I cannot I cannot wait for volume six to come out I think it's coming out it's either in June or July is coming out but I am so, I'm so excited I cannot wait to see how it goes for our two lovers <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so now for our next series, uh, I got was Sunny by Tayo Matsumoto. I got volume two. I've had um, volume one for a long time. Uh, it's published by Sig, not sorry, Sig. I'm sorry, it's published by Viz, and it's in the lovely Sig editions. Um, I feel like Viz always does a great job with Tayo Matsumoto's works. Like, they really, really do. And my goal is to own all of his work that's been published in English. So 
that's going to be kind of hard because what is it blue springs is out of print i feel like black and white is potentially going <laughs> to be out of print because it's getting harder to find that series google monsters is also out of print as well so uh, at least i'm going to try to get black and white but it's going to be hard to get the other two and i would have said it, it would be very hard to get number five but this is reprinting it and i'm so stinking excited for it to come out oh i'm really excited i think it's coming out in uh, july but that used to uh, i forgot who printed it first but it came out years ago it's been out of print for years i'm really happy that this is reprinting it so so stoked about that um, so now the next and last series I got was Soul Eater Volume 2 in the Perfect Edition by Atsushi Okubo. And it is published by Square Enix, and these are beautiful, beautiful editions. I decided to get uh, this volume off of Amazon because Right Stuff was out of stock of volume two. And I was like, oh, I really want to have this so I can read it. So I went ahead and got it off of Amazon. And I'm really, I'm very happy to be collecting these editions. <laughs> very, very happy. And then in this one, yeah. I was wondering if I was going to flip to it in this one. <laughs> uh, we get introduced to Excalibur. I, I really love Excalibur. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> uh, so yeah. <laughs> I'm like almost like tearing up just thinking about it. Um, <laughs> of that. But yes, that is all that I got. From Amazon. Okay, so that is the end of my maple. What was I gonna say? I was gonna say maple, but that is the end of my April manga haul. Uh, let me know what you guys thought. Um, if you uh, like some of the series that I picked up, if you didn't like them, if you heard of them, didn't hear hear about them, let me know in the comments below, and let's have a discussion about it. Um, so yeah, I just want to say thank you guys for tuning in and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye bye!